Hello, welcome to the bee vlog. So this hive is Queen Jezebel. This is the swarm I caught a couple weeks ago and they gave me a dozen or so stings. So they've been appropriately named Jezebel. A little bit about their area that they've been located to. So we have this, uh, this, this location has this nice little kind of, of uh, pagoda and patio. They're not really using much. Um, they have currently some plants sitting by, ready to be planted. Uh, right next to it, we have a nice little wetlands area with a lot of natural vegetation and forage. It's great for the local animals and insects and wildlife. In fact, this swarm probably came from this area as I caught it only about two blocks north of here. This morning when I came by to kind of peek in on them to see how they were doing, I noticed some very strange behavior. Um, I've been seeing a lot of die-off with this colony more so than I have with the other hives. You can see out front here a lot of dead bees, some of them twitching. Um, I don't know if they got into some pesticide or if this is pretty typical for this particular swarm since they were a very large swarm when I caught them. In fact this box is, uh, they've, they've outgrown it. Um, I, gave the, I gave them a lot of drawn comb when I first caught them because I had a lot of leftovers and I wanted to get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to give them a new box today. But they were also doing a lot of wrestling over here at the entrance. Um, I didn't see any robbing behavior, but the guards were being particularly aggressive with the bees that were coming in. Uh, two hours ago there wasn't any foraging going on, but there seems to be some going on now. I don't see any pollen coming in. My other hives are bringing in pollen. But it may just be early in the day for them. You can see that there's some strange behavior going on there with the attack, attacking that one bee. Three guards going at that one bee. This is a very big, very strong colony. I don't know <clears throat> why they'd be having any kinds of difficulties like that. So let's open up, take a look, see what we can find. I gave them a little bit of smoke and suddenly they got very, very loud inside. And I don't know if it's just them fanning, trying to get the smell of the smoke out, or if they're upset by something. So many bees in here, they are quite crowded and just clustering on the underside of this lid. So they are ready for some more space. We don't have a very strong flow on right now, so I don't know if they'll be able to use the space, but they're so crowded, I want to just give them the room. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm not going to pyramid them up, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take five frames from the edges, move them up to the center of the top, so I'm basically going to be opening things up on the edges and leaving the centers intact. They've been putting honey in these outer frames just nectar at the moment. So I'll leave these five here. Uh, some good cat brood. Lots of bees all over it. Alright, I'll put in empty frames in place of those five ones I removed from the edges.
This hive is acting very strange. They're acting like there's two rival hives in here. So I'll close things up and leave them alone and just watch to see what happens. Let's come back in another week and see if things are looking calmer for them or if they're still looking rather agitated. Okay, so check out this behavior. They seem so very agitated at the entrance here and there. Look like, it looks like they're exiling workers. If they were doing this to some of the drones, I would understand, but I'm seeing workers getting ejected and wrestled with until they drop off the landing board. Um, there could be three, four, five bees just attacking one other bee doesn't look like uh, typical landing board behavior. So I don't quite know exactly what's happening here. Yesterday there was a big pile of bees underneath the hive. Looks like they had been uh, attached to the underside of the screen bottom board and then just died over time. But there was a lot of twitching. You know, they'd be on their backs, legs twitching. Um, so I don't know if they got into something that's a making them act agitated. This is right after an inspection, but I, I've, <laughs> I've done inspections before and never seen this kind of activity and agitation when I'm done. I had just swept this area in front of the hive and now there's about 10 or 15 dead or dying bees on the ground right in front of the hive. So this hive isn't acting typical. Uh, I don't know what's going on with them. This almost looks like a robbing frenzy and they're guarding it and, and protecting their, their food, but the, uh, it's just not the time of year you'd expect to be seeing robbing going on. All of my other hives are working on foraging, bringing in pollen, and they all seem to be doing just fine. While mm -hmm. well, this one is fighting with itself, it looks like. Mm -hmm. 